Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to talk about Galapagos uh, in Grasshopper. So we have an office building here. You see, this is the working area and we have 14 workspaces, right? And by workspace, I mean the desk uh, and the clearance that one person needs uh, and the chair, of course. Now the question is, where can we locate the printer or the printers in this office? So it's going to cause the minimum amount of movement from all these desks to the printer. Right. So possibly the printer could be in this area. We need a little bit of clearance to the shelves. Uh, we're going to have some shelves probably in here uh, and it's going to be around here. So I'm going to go to Grasshopper. So first we need a point to show the potential location of the printer. I'm going to go to Vector, uh, Printer and put it here. Right, so now it's you see that it's in zero zero zero. So let's say uh, I want to assign some numbers to x and y. So I want to consider the x that goes from here to here. So you see this is uh, in metric this file, and each of these grid is one meter. So it's going from two to actually about thirteen. This is 10, 11, 12, and 13. So I want to bring a number slider. I want to assign like 13. Then I want to go and adjust minimum to 2 and adjust maximum to 13. Uh, and I want to actually go with a floating number and two digits. So it's going to be as precise as uh, centimeters. So this seems good. It goes from 2 to 13. I'm going to connect this to my X. And if I move to right and left, uh, the X range seems OK. I want to also assign a value to Y. And it's going to go from 2 to 9 and a half. So this is between 9 and 10. I'm going to put 9 and a half, 9.5. Uh, go here change the minimum to 2 and the maximum is going to be 9 and a half. Uh, two digits again. I'm going to connect this to Y and you see the point is now going to be only in this area that I have marked with a gray color. If we want to consider the location of printer and know the distance between the printer to each of those workspaces, I'm going to actually need a set of points here to get the distance between that point and the printers, right? So uh, I want to draw some points here in the workspace layer. I'm going to use uh, actually a bunch of points from maybe the center of each of these workspaces, consider that the person is going to be sitting around here. I need to turn the midpoint on. Now I can go with midpoints. And see my project is also on, so everything I draw is going to be on the XY plane. It's not going to go up and down. So we have 14 workspaces and we have 14 points. I'll bring Grasshopper again uh, and I want to read those points in my Grasshopper file. So I'm going to go to parameters, point. Uh, in order to select all the points here, the easiest way to do that is to go to the selection menu and you can go with select points. All the points are selected. I want to right click here and I want to set multiple points because there are 14. There we go. Now, even if you hide the points here, they are actually uh, grasshopper items, right? Now, uh, I want to also internalize the data to make sure that we're not going to lose the location of the points. Uh, what we want to do is that we want to minimize the distance between this point and all the points considered. So how about we do this? I'm going to draw a line with two points from each of these points to the point here. So now you see we can actually get the distance from each of those points to the point. If I just type length here, we're going to get the length of the lines 
which is actually our distance here. If I bring a panel, you see that we have 14 numbers going from 0 to 13. So uh, in workstation 1, the first person needs to walk for 5 meters. The last person needs to walk for 10 meters to get to the printer. Right now, I want to get the total number of these links so I can go with mass addition. Mass addition is going to give you the sum or the total of all the numbers in one list. If I connect this to that, you see uh, the total number, the all distances, is actually 97 meters. If I change these values, you see that I can come up with a different number for the total. So if it's in this corner, the total amount of movement in the office is going to be 120 meters from all those workstations to here. But if I put it like in this other corner, it's going to be 100. Somewhere in the middle, it's going to be like a little bit less, like 80. Okay, now what is the best location? So this is where we're going to use Galapagos. I'm going to move all this down maybe. Under parameters, under utility, this is Galapagos. And I want to use this. Basically what it does is that it's going to work with the numbers in the sliders to get a, the best solution. You see it says genome. The genome is all the sliders that we want to consider as the parameters that we are allowed to change. So for this case, as an example, we're going to assign the X and Y of the location to genome. So I'm going to actually connect this to this. Also, I want to connect this to this. You can connect as many sliders as you want, although I need to hold shift. There we go. So we have two uh, kind of set of data, which is the X and Y locations to genome. What do I want to solve for? What is the fitness? It's actually the lowest amount of uh, total distances that we want to calculate. So I want to connect fitness to my R value here, which is the uh, result of the mass addition. Okay, for now it's on 120. Okay, let me move all this down. When you are ready, so we have two inputs here. Uh, and we want to have the minimum number which is possible. Uh, I want to double click here to run Galapagos and if you go to generic, do you want to maximize or do you want to minimize? We want to minimize uh, the moving here. So I'm going to go to solvers and we're going to start solving. So as it runs, you see that it's working with different numbers here and from 120 is going lower and lower and total distances is actually now about 80 meters. So we are saving 40 meters of uh, commuting from the workspaces to the location of the printer. Uh, when it finds the best option, it's going to stop. You can also change the display to all genomes or only the best ones, so it's going to show you the best ones. And you see the best value here that we have is 80.5, 80.5, and so on. So it just stops for the best X and Y coordinates, which in this case is 8.67 and 5.11. So it's going to be over there.